Hi friends, welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I want to share with you how to make fig jam. I love making jams with seasonal fruit, especially fig jam. If you are lucky to have fig tree in your garden, go ahead and make a big batch and give it to your friends. It has a really unique and comfortable aroma. You don't even know it is made of fig. I will show you how to keep the jam on your shelf for a longer time as well. Let's get started. First, let's sanitize your jar. Wash and clean your jar and put into a pot. Cover with water and turn the heat to high. Simmer for 10 minutes to eliminate any germs. While simmering, let's prepare the fig. You are going to need basically three ingredients. Fig, sugar, and lemon juice. Today I'm going to be at vanilla for the extra deliciousness. Before squeezing the lemon juice, I am always keep the lemon zest. Rinse the lemon quickly and rub with a teaspoon of salt to remove the antifungal agent. Rinse off the salt and pat dry. Use the cheese grater to grate just outside the lemon peel. Wrap it tight and keep it in the freezer for your next baking project. Cut in half and squeeze out the lemon juice. Set aside until used. Rinse your fig thoroughly and pat dry. Cut off the stem and peel the skin. You don't have to peel the skin, but I want my fig jam translucent and to have a clear taste, I peel it off. Place your pot onto the scale, add in the chopped fig. Today I've gotten 350 grams of fig. Give it a taste and it is just before fully ripe, which is ideal for the jam and it is not that sweet. So I decided to add 30% of the sugar of the weight. You can adjust how much you are adding, but you don't have to add more than 50%. You can make a jam without the sugar if it's very sweet, but it doesn't last long. Before cooking the jam, take out the jar and put onto a wire rack to dry out the moisture. Turn the heat to medium and keep stirring until it comes to a boil. Today I am working on a small batch. The cooking time should be not too long. I think the cooking time should be as short as possible to maintain the aroma. Do not add water if it doesn't seem to have enough moisture. The moisture will come out when it cooks down. Just keep stirring on medium heat until it's bubbling. When it looks thick, add in vanilla and lemon juice. The colors turn bright and reddish and smell so lovely. Cook until thickened for a few minutes more until the jam moves slow and stop cooking and put a spoonful of jam in a small bowl. Pop in the freezer for a couple of minutes and you can tell it's good or not. It looks spreadable and nice consistency it's done cooking. Dip your spoon in the boiling water to sanitize and carefully fill the jar with the hot jam. Cover the lid and loosely close the lid. Put in the pot and pour the water an inch underneath the lid 
and gently simmer for 10 minutes. What this does is removing as much air inside of the jar and sanitize at the same time. After 10 minutes, carefully take out the jar and close tightly the lid. Put it upside down to remove the remaining air inside. Leave it until it comes to room temperature. Let me show you the easy jar wrapping. You will need a piece of a thin waxed paper, rubber band, and ribbon. Place a piece of paper on the lid and fasten with a rubber band. Then tie a bow over the rubber band so that it looks pretty. Put a sticker to tell what's inside. Easy jar wrapping is done. When I was young, I wanted to be able to make this kind of gift. Nothing special, but warm and relaxing, and you can enjoy as a meal. I know young people are watching this channel, and you are looking for a better way to cook, and I think these small tips are very helpful for you. You can enjoy the jam with cracker, with cream cheese and with yogurt and don't forget the toast I love this so much give it a try and let me know how you like it thank you for watching the video give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!